activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Whoa! This spider web looks amazing. You're right, Debo. Spider webs do have such artistic designs. I wonder, how do spiders make their webs? Yes, let's go find a spider to ask. I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Bonjour, I'm Spencer. You're just in time to watch me make my latest artistic creation. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Are you about to make a web? I am. It's going to be my greatest masterpiece. The webbiest web of all time. <gasps> want to help? Yeah. I really want to learn how spiders make their webs. Time to create. Debo, I'll be right back. <gasps> Blippi, you can be my holder and tester. My web will be a circle-shaped design with some triangles in the middle. What kind of string do you use to make your web? I use silk strands that I make myself and they shoot out of my stomach. <laughs> to a spider or bug, these strands are as strong as steel. That is so cool! Next, the circles to complete my masterpiece. Can you hold this strand in place, Flippy? Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! It is a circle shape! Ah, perfect! Grab that strand, Flippy, to swing out for a look! Whoa! Amazing! Wait! Is that a picture of me in your web? It is you, my masterpiece. Now you can test it, bounce against it, see if it holds. Whee! Whoa! The sticky part is for catching bugs to eat. <laughs> your web is beautiful and useful, Spencer. And you answer my question. How do spiders make their webs? They use super strong and sticky silk strands to create a web with a cool circular design. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for showing us how you make a perfect web, Spencer. Bye-bye. <laughs> Au revoir. That's a pretty tall mountain. I'm sure there are way taller mountains, Tabs. Hmm, I wonder, what's the tallest mountain in the world? Great idea, Tabs. We'll go to the Himalayas and find out. I'm gonna need wings and the grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find the tallest mountain in the world. Woohoo! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're looking for the tallest mountain. I'm climbing it right now. Hi, I'm Betty the Yeti. Yeti! I was just headed to the top. That's where the best snow is. <laughs> Nothing worse than old snow. <laughs> Can I tag along? I want to see what it's like on top of the tallest mountain. Of course, but get ready. This mountain is super tall. We're up so high. And it's much colder up here. Thanks, Tabs. I love hot cocoa. 
That was a close one. Hey, it's the mountain top. Yeah, we made it. Oh, whoa, it's so windy up here. I got you, Blippi. So what is the name of this mountain? It's Tamalangma. Oh, you call it Mount Everest. You're right, Tabs. I have the answer to my question. What's the tallest mountain in the world? It's Mount Everest. It's 29,035 feet tall. Upload answer tabs. And the snow up here is delicious. Uh. <laughs> snow burps. <laughs> have a good snow snack. Bye, Betty the Yeti. Bye, Flippy. Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Whoa! Look at all those elephants! Hmm, I wonder, what do elephants use their trunks for? You're right, Debo! We should go ask one and find out! I'm gonna need a water hose and duck feet! Water hose, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! <laughs> Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Me, Blippi, and that's Debo. Hey, we were wondering, what do elephants use their trunks for? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Tempo. Whoa! We elephants use our trunks to help cool down by sucking up water and spraying it on our body. Like this? <laughs> Let's go down the slide again. Race you to the show. You're on. Whoa! How could you breathe underwater? That's another great thing about my trunk. I can breathe through it. Wow! Just like my nose! <coughs> <coughs> exactly. Hey, speaking of noses, I smell bananas. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. Come on, hop on my back. Oh, boy! Another slide! I wish we could go down that one, but the path is blocked! Check this out! Another great thing about trunks is that I can move just about anything! Last one down is a banana peel! Whoa! This is the best day ever! Whoa! Ready or not? also use their trunks to make sounds, like when we are excited. That's amazing! <laughs> Thank you, Tembo, for helping me find the answer to my question. What do elephants use their trunks for? Elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, make sounds, suck up water, and even grab things. <laughs> Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Blippi. See you next time you're in the savannah. Bye-bye. <laughs> we had such a blast! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout! I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi Wonders! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, time for bed! Aw, but we're having 
so much fun! Hmm, I wonder, why do we have to sleep? Hey, it's me, Blippi! And this is Benjamin and Debo! Well, hello there! Are we all ready for a bedtime story? Not yet! We need to go through my bedtime checklist first! Pajamas? Yeah! Check! Brush teeth? <laughs> Check! Okay, Mr. Book! We're ready! Oop. Our slumber saga begins with two familiar friends looking for fun and adventure. Ribbit! That sounds like Debo! Oh no! It is Debo! We gotta save him! Blippi and Benjamin to the rescue! Whoa! Our heroes could not begin their adventure without a good night's sleep. <sighs> Maybe we should rest first. <sighs> good idea, Blippi. They soon found that sleep gave them the energy to scale any obstacle, however mighty. Wow! I feel great! Look out, mountain! Here we come! They danced. <laughs> and they leapt. Until they reached the top of the mountain. Hmm. We're coming, Debo! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Whoa! whoa. That was a close one. <sighs> Maybe if we push the boulder in the hole, we can walk across it. But the energizing effects of sleep were starting to wear off. <laughs> it's no use. Maybe we should rest. Our daring duo woke up with rested minds and strengthened bodies. I feel stronger. Look, we grew bigger too. <gasps> All right! But there was one more obstacle for our duo to tackle. Hi, Bella. Would you mind moving so Debo can get down? I don't want to move. I'm grumpy. I think Bella needs a nap. Let's all take a nap. Okay, fine. I feel great. Me too. That nap made me happy. Woohoo! Time to hula hoop! <laughs> that day, Blippi and his friends learned that sleep is the secret ingredient to happiness. <laughs> wow! That was awesome! And I got the answer to my question. <gasps> Why do we have to go to sleep? Because it gives you energy makes you big and strong, and makes you happy too. Upload answer, Debo. Good night, Blippi, Debo, and Benjamin. Sleep tight. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa. Whoa! That one's blue! <gasps> that one is red, Tabs! Oh, and that one is green! Hmm, I wonder, why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs! Let's go investigate! I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm! Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Never get too close to fireworks. Be safe. Give them some space. Okay. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tax. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about it. Whee! First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder. 
which burns fast and sends the fireworks as high as a thousand feet into the air. Whoa, that's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Great! Even in the air, remember to stay safe and give them space. So colorful! Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Here comes another one, Tabs! Tabs! Are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending! You're right! Let's go! <gasps> Here it comes! The ground! What an amazing show! And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny! Bye, Flippy! Always stay colorful! It's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge snorkeling. Sherry. Are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the Blippi Mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right. Which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because... Popsicles will melt if they get too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. Huh? <gasps> Achoo! Thanks. 
Achoo! Huh, something is making me sneeze. Hmm, I wonder, why do people sneeze? <laughs> Yes! It's time to find the nearest nose and see what happens in there. I'm gonna need rocket boosters, a grabber arm, and spider legs. Rocket booster, grabber arm, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is Ready for adventure! Woo-hoo! Into a nose we go! It's like a cave in here! Hello! Hello! Hey, it's me, Flippy. Who are you? My name's Petunia, and I'm a piece of pollen. I may be small, but I can make big things happen! <laughs> like a sneeze? You got it! When I'm around people, I <laughs> and I especially like bothering noses. Come on, bounce with me. Oh, don't worry, it's a nose. It's not going to bite. Plus, it's fun. <laughs> so, this will make someone sneeze? This is just the start, since a sniff is coming. Watch out. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> It looks like we're in a jungle. This is all hair. It's here to keep pulling like me. And plus other things like dust particles out of your nose. Oh, <laughs> well, it won't work. Oh, it's fun to be irritating. Will this cause a sneeze? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, now a tissue's coming for us. Run! Oh, right. They're really bothering this nose now. <laughs> Take all my is the sneeze coming? It is! <laughs> na, 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 na. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no! Boogers! We did it! Yes, and I have the answer to my question. Why do people sneeze? People sneeze when tiny things like pollen get inside their nose and irritate it. Upload answer, Debo. Okay, see ya, Blippi! Bye-bye, Petunia. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Last one to splash has to take out the trash. <laughs> Wait, worms! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> hmm, I wonder, why do worms come out in the rain? I'm gonna need pontoons and the excavator arm. Pontoons, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! La 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 la! Ooh, what's that? La 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 la! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Flippy, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi! I'm Wave the Worm, and I la 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 love singing! Everybody join in! La la la. I wish I could find another worm I could sing with. Well, I'd ask you, but you're not worms. But hey, enough about me. What can I do for you? We were wondering why worms come up from underground when it rains. There are three reasons. Follow me, 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 me. Worm dive. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> yeah! It sounds like something's digging down. It's getting closer. Don't worry. That's just the raindrops hitting the ground above and sending vibrations down. But to us worms, it sounds like a predator trying to dig down and get us. So that's one reason we go topside. Whoa! What? 
Wave? Hello? La 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 You're right, Debo. That does look like fun. Whee! Reason number two. When it rains, we worms can move around on the ground much faster. That's right, Debo. Wave did say there are three reasons why worms come out in the rain. What's the third reason, Wave? Third reason? Um... La, 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 la. Oh, that's right. Number three, to find a friend. I love the rain. I love the rain, too. We love the rain. Wave, you found a friend who loves to sing just like you. And now I have the answer to my question. Why do worms come out in the rain? Worms come out in the rain because the raindrop vibrations sound like predators. They can travel more quickly when it's wet and to find a special friend. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Goodbye, Debo. La 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 la. <laughs> bye bye, Wave. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. You look like a fireman. Now you look like a construction worker. <laughs> You're a natural cowboy, Debo. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, what is it like to be a cowboy? Let's find out. I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm. Confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Uh, uh, hey, do you know any cowboys? Whoa, Whoa there. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Hampton the Horse. What brings you two down to the for? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn what it's like to be a cowboy. Well, you certainly rode into the right ranch. Giddy up. But first, we've got to get you looking the part. All right. I see you got your hat on, partner. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> here, Blippi, grab yourself a hat and a bandana. See, cowboys wear these wide rim hats to protect themselves from the sun and the rain. Ah, much better. Now you looking good. Yeah, cowboy! But they're also useful for gathering water when you need a drink. Cool! Woo! Whoa! Uh-oh! <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> cowboy hats are also good for moving a cow in the right direction. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> hey! No worries there, Blippi. Being a cowboy is so much more than just having the right clothes. Like what? Riding horses is a big part of the job. It's how cowboys got around before corn, and it allows us to herd cattle without scaring. Hop on. Let's ride! <laughs> Maybe we should slow down. Oh, I think I'll stick to the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> That's actually perfect, since we have loose cattle to rank. We gotta spread out and move in the direction we want the cows to go toward the pen. Let's get a wiggle on. That means let's go. Yippee! <laughs> well done, Blippi. You wrangled those cows like a real cowboy. Being a cowboy is hard work. Sure is. But it makes the day worthwhile. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for helping me find the answer to my question. <laughs> Cowboys wear big hats 
ride horses, and wrangle cattle. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for making us feel at home on the range. Anytime, City Slicker. <laughs> Whoa, Tabs, that bouncy castle is out of this world. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. And there's the moon! <laughs> yeah! Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi. And this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. I never tried it myself, being a rock, but let me see if I can just get up. All right, then let's bounce. Jump, 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 jump. I'm light as a feather up here. I never knew I could have been having so much fun. It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity. It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon. It's so fun, and the bounces are really big. Because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky! Keep on bouncing, Blippi! <laughs> Whoa! I see the moon, stars, and is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa! There's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder, what planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster, confirm. Activate Blippi Station. Now it's time to get planet size. Growing up! <laughs> right, Taps, we're in space. Whoa, it's a meteor. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Welcome to outer space. I marry the meteor. I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that is hot. We should go. The third planet is your home, Earth. Hi, Mom. 
Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust. Come on. Next up is the giant Jupiter, bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa, we should go. We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings. Whoa, they look beautiful. Can we get closer? Of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. yeah, wee. Wait, we haven't finished yet. On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune. Whoa! I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the Meteor. Whoa! Bouncy sand dune! And even bouncier! Wow, what an amazing sandcastle! Wave incoming! Oh no! Looks like that castle was no match for that wave. Huh, I wonder, can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tabs. There is only one way to find out. I need to build a sandcastle of my own. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and spider legs. Excavator arm, spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for action. Let's go make a sandcastle that won't get washed away. Now we need to make ourselves sandcastle size. Drinking down! Feel that cool ocean breeze, Tabs. Whoa! Hi there, I'm Krabby the Crab. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, crikey, I don't know my own strength. Hi, Krabby. It's me, Blippi. And this is my Blippi mobile. I love it. <laughs> so, you out taking a fun ride? Actually, Krabby, I'm here because I'm curious if I can build a sandcastle that won't get washed away. You came to the right, Crab. I'm a planner, digger, and a builder. I can help you, Blippi. Great. So, the first thing we're going to do is build a moat. That's a fancy word for a hole. You see, the water goes into the hole and doesn't wash away what's behind it. So, let's dig. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. Wow, what a hole. Now let's build a sandcastle. You're right, Tabs. We are going to need a shovel. Finished. Success. You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. The moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat. And best sandcastle ever. Wave incoming! The moat worked, Krabby. This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to mm. catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. <laughs> Whoa, that bird is carrying lots of twigs. Right, Debo. She's bringing them to her nest. Hmm, I wonder, how do birds build a nest? Good idea. Let's follow that bird and see if she'll show us. I'm going to need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinky. 
Happy Mobile is ready for adventure! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Oh no! What happened to your nest? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Jody. My nest was damaged in a storm last night. Oh, don't worry, Eggies. Mama's on a mission to rebuild our nest. We were wondering how you build a nest. Well, I could use an extra wing to look after my two eggs. Debo would love to exit. <laughs> oh, thanks, Debo. Now, Blippi, can you come with me to get supplies? Grass, mud, and twigs. They're all near Jake's place, so we'll need to keep him busy. Very unfriendly. Let's go! Uh, nice birdie! <laughs> Jody, what's the status of that grass? Grass acquired! Time to get the mud! Mud is landing in the nest! Now all we need are some twigs from the end of this branch! This guy again! Oh, thanks, Debo. <laughs> Time to build. First, I make a circle with twigs and grass. Then, add more twig circles higher on top of each other. Whoa, you use your beak to build it. The mud is like glue, holding the nest together. Your nest is fantastic, Jody. And I know the answer to my question. How do birds build a nest? Birds like Jody find natural things like grass and twigs, then use mud to hold it all together. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye, Blippi and Debo. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye, Jody. Bye, eggs. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders! <laughs> this is going to be the best English feast ever! I can't wait to make all my favorite foods from London, England. Uh-oh! Are you okay, Tabs? Whoa! Tabs! You look like a knight! Hmm. I wonder, what was it like to be a knight in shining armor? Great idea, Tabs. We can go back in time to medieval London and find out. <laughs> Going back in time! Halt! Who goes there? Hey, it's me, Flippy, and this is Tabs. Are you a knight? Sir Buttercup, loyal knight of Her Majesty's kennel. So cool. Can you show us what a knight does? Of course. I was just about to test the castle's defense system, which helps keep it safe. My counterpart, Sir Pudding, will be assisting. All right. Fire when ready. Whoa. Was that a tomato? Probably. The catapults are loaded with rotten fruit to fire at anyone who approaches the castle. Take cover! <laughs> Look out! Oh. Who turned out the lights? <gasps> are you okay? Yes. My armor is made of steel and can protect me from the most severe of boo-boos. Good job, Sir Pudding! <laughs> For this next test, we will need to be very careful. Follow me! <laughs> Slowly now, the moat is filled with terrible oh. creatures so that intruders can't get across. Oh, terrible creatures? They could attack at any moment. <laughs> you mean the little ducks? Oh, yes. Whoa! Yikes! Mm, a doggy dish. Sir Pudding must be hungry. 
But how can we get inside? The castle walls are built very high to keep intruders out. I've got an idea. Follow me. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Whoa, an English feast. I can see why you were protecting the castle. Oh, Sir Pudding, what a wonderful idea! Thank you for your help. I declare you Sir Blippy and Lady Tabs! Wow! What an honor! And I got the answer to my question. What was it like to be a knight in shining armor? It was awesome! Knights protected their castle and kept everyone safe. Upload answer, Tabs. Farewell! Bye bye Sir Buttercup! Race you to the ball pit! Okay, Blippi! Cuddle ball activate! <laughs> Whoa! Silly somersault! Whoa! <laughs> that was totally awesome, Debo! Huh? <gasps> Is that a puppy? I love puppies! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo and Blue. What's your name? <laughs> Lily! What a cute name! Great idea, Lily! <laughs> Blippi, Lily wants you to throw the ball for us. Okay, Lily and Blue, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Go fetch! <laughs> Look at how fast Lily's tail is wagging. Hmm, I wonder, why do dogs wag their tails? <laughs> Uh-oh, I think Debo's broken. <sighs> Oh no! Lily's probably scared. Debo, try giving her a treat. Now hold out your paw so she can sniff you and know you're a friend. Yeah, Lily! All better. Do you want me to throw the ball again? She's so excited! Ready, go, fetch! Oh, she's so happy! Too hard, Blue! Oh no, is Debo okay? <laughs> Debo, you're all better! <laughs> Hugs? <laughs> Not so hard, Blue. Good girl, Lily. Good girl. She's so cute. Hugs? Be gentle, Blue. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> Hey, look at how fast her tail is wagging. Yeah, dogs wag their tails as a way of showing emotion, like fear or, or excitement. <laughs> Just like my antennas glow different colors for all my different feelings. I got the answer to my question. Why do dogs wag their tails? Dogs wag their tails to show emotions like fear or excitement. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl, Lily. Good girl. <laughs> Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Driving at night is so much fun. And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa! What was that? That's pretty.
pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm. I wonder, why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. Hi, my name is Rita the Raccoon. What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool. Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course. I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything. Oh, look at her go. Debo, follow that raccoon. You aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippi-mobile! This time, I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye-bye, Rita! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Ready, Debo? <laughs> Three, two, one! Yeah, it's not quite what I envisioned. I wish I could make a few changes. <gasps> oh, yeah! I can use an eraser! Hmm, I wonder, how does an eraser work? Great idea, Debo! We'll shrink down and get a closer look. I'm gonna need a grabber arm and helicopter blades. Grabber arm, helicopter blades, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. And up close, it sure does need some changes. Maybe I can help. Huh? Huh? I am the amazing Ernie. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. We're here to learn how an eraser works. Well, you came to the right eraser because I can make anything disappear. 
even pencil markings. That's amazing! Come see, it's the best show in town! The tip of a pencil is made of graphite, and when you rub it on paper, it leaves a mark! Cool! Oh, huh. Let's take a closer look through a magnifying glass. Graphite gets left behind on the paper because it actually sticks to the paper! Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! Huh? I got it! Phew! That was close! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, Ernie, can you erase this graphite mark? Oh, what a great idea! I will make that mark disappear by erasing it. When an eraser like me rubs against the paper, it creates friction and heat. Awesome! The heat makes the eraser stickier than the paper, so the graphite comes loose from the paper and sticks to the eraser instead. Friction also causes the eraser to disintegrate or fall apart. See the small bits coming off? <laughs> You've got a few on you. Oh, they're cute. Wrap the eraser on the paper enough, and boy, oh boy, the graphite comes off. Ta-da! My disappearing act. Oh, that's amazing. Was it magic? No, it's science. Cool. And I got the answer to my question. How does an eraser work? Erasers work by using friction to make them stickier than paper. So the graphite on the paper clings to the eraser. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for the magic show, Ernie. Now it's time for us to disappear. Goodbye, Blippi. It was magic to meet you. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. That's right, Debo. The leaves have almost fallen off the trees. That means winter is coming. Whoa, that is a big bear. It looks like it's ready to hibernate. That's when bears slow down in the winter and rest. Kind of like a bunch of long naps. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, how do bears prepare for hibernation? I'm gonna need the excavator arm. Excavator arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Nice hula hoop moves you got there. I'm Bella the Bear. Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're wondering how bears prepare for hibernation. <gasps> is it that time already? It's almost winter. Oh, no! I've been having so much fun this summer, I totally forgot to prepare. I'm gonna have to move fast. Hey, could you help me? Of course. Thanks, Blippi. I've got quite the checklist. I'm gonna have to eat a lot of healthy food and fast <laughs> so I can bulk up my fat and fur to keep me warm. Fish is one of my favorite foods. Whoa! Voila! Oh, right. <laughs> Eating. Oh. Thanks, Blippi. I'll also need to load up on berries. Bella! Don't you need to eat the berries? Whoopsie-doo! Oh. Mm. Thanks, Debo. All right, we're making progress. But now for the tough part. We need to dig in the ground to find roots to eat. <laughs> I know just the thing to speed up the process. Work, Blippi. Well, excuse me. Mmm, mmm, delish. Oh, I just need one more thing to keep me warm. What is it? I need 
need an extra layer to keep warm in my cave. Pine needles! The bear version of a big, comfy blanket. Oh, thanks! That looks extra cozy. <sighs> I'm all ready for hibernation. And I couldn't have done it all in one day without your help. I think we made it just in time. Thanks for answering my question, Bella. Bears prepare for hibernation by eating a lot of healthy food and warming their dens in order to stay comfy in the winter months. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Have a great sleep, Bella. Bye, Blippi. Oh, take care of my hula hoop till summer, Debo. 